Hey, what's up guys? So this will be a really quick video to talk about the Everyday Messenger Bag by Peak Design um, before I return it. <laughs> and I kind of just woke up and looked up and it's like, ah, today's a nice day and weather's nice, lighting is nice. Let's do a really quick video to talk about why I am actually returning this uh, before I do it in just a bit. Um, so this is like totally unscripted and just whatever comes to my mind to explain why I made the decision that I did. So I've been keeping an eye on this handsome everyday messenger bag by Peak Design ever since it was launched in Kickstarter and I've always wanted it but a price tag has been kind of keeping me away from it. Uh, it's $250 right now um, on Amazon and also on their website. Now they do have packages where um, you can you can bundle it with other things so it'll be a little bit cheaper but roughly it's $250. So because I'm not super rich, I, I thought for a long, long time. And finally, I was like, okay, if I think about this item for that long, that means that I must really want it. So I placed the order. And I've had it for two days just to kind of see what it is in person and then think about how practical it would be to use. And sadly, even though I really like the look, it's not for me. And I explain why. So there's two purposes for me to get this bag. One is for traveling. Um, that's the major purpose. Um, when I go out uh, to different countries, especially I have a Japan and Taiwan trip coming up in June, I would like a more fashionable messenger bag or a bag than my um, F-stop guru backpack because the backpack is not as, it's not as cool. So I thought this would look awesome, right? So that's purpose number one. My purpose number two is to carry my laptop to work um, whenever I go into DC's office. Uh, I have to walk six blocks long distance and usually I use the book um, backpack and it serves a purpose. But it's also like sometimes after work I like to go out. It's not the coolest thing to be wearing a backpack walking into the bar, right? So I thought a messenger bag would be perfect. So when I first got it, it's, it's a little bit big, but then when you kind of like wear it sideways, it's not too bad. It actually looks pretty hip. And again, I really like the design. So right now the bag is empty. And one of the main reasons I'm gonna return this bag is because, let me load it up. So now when I go traveling, I would, here. So they have a really nice divider. I'm not gonna talk about all these because there's so many videos out there. Uh, so when I go traveling, I will bring my DSLR. And this is the Nikon D600 with the 2470 f2.8 lens. It is a pretty big lens, it is heavy. Okay, so I'm not saying this is a small lens, but this, whatever, whether it's good or bad, this is my walk around lens that I'll bring to traveling. So I'll put it in there. I'll put it in the compartment that's set up for camera. Turn the side. And while I'm out, usually I'll bring one more lens. Right here I have the 85mm f1.8. Uh, I use this lens for portrait. I love this lens. It's either going to be this or 50, but I figure. Because sometimes I will, I will bring an 85 with me, so I'll just pack in a slightly heavier one, 85, and I put it in my center compartment. I'll show you guys later. And finally, when I travel, usually I have a water bottle. But I really like this clasp. I really talk about it, but when you actually play with it, that's pretty cool. Okay, and let me just take it off to show you how it was laid out in there. And it's really spacious and I really like the uh, what they do with the divider. It's not like a thick padding but it's kind of rigid with the ability to form, conform to whatever shape you need. Alright so let me cinch it up, throw it across my shoulder again so everything packs them really organized and nice. Now here's the problem. So yesterday I brought, I didn't even bring my DSLR actually, yesterday I brought my RX100 and four pointed shoots um, I brought some random items, right? Uh, water bottle and then uh, odds and ends. That's not too heavy. So I walked for a while and oh my god, my shoulder was sore. Uh, and just right here, with all those weight on one shoulder, slanted like this, pulling down, is too heavy. This is, this is bad. So this tells me that there's no way I could walk around Japan for the whole day with all these weight, the D600, the uh, 2470, 2.8, and then the 85, and then a water bottle just on one shoulder. 
Um, so that kind of that's out the window. Uh, now things may be different with, with you. Uh, you may be a bigger dude because I'm a pretty small guy. I'm like five seven, uh, 145 pounds. You know. Um, but this just pulls my shoulder too much. It's too much weight on one shoulder. Um, so that's that's out. So I thought to myself, okay. Then that's what if, because I really like this bag, I want to make this work. What if I just keep this and just with my laptop? So they have a laptop compartment in their bag, right? And I do have a MacBook Pro 13 inch. Fits in there perfectly. I believe it can fit up to a 15 inch because I still have a little room to spare. And if it's just snug, it does not swing around and stuff like that. So I wear a laptop. Ah, awesome, right? This is good. But the one thing that I notice is that if I do not have the majority of the weight on one side, when I wear it to the back, sometimes it's not going like this. It's not going sideways. But I want it to go like this, right? But that's no big deal. So the laptop in general works. However, uh, thinking that the bag is $250 and the main purpose I want for it is as a photographer messenger bag, uh, sadly, my equipment is just too heavy for a messenger style bag. And I'll just bring the laptop back out and show you what I think its intended purpose is. So, we're back here with the Fuji X100S. Okay, mirrorless, small camera. Tug it in. Cinch it up. <laughs> the back is pretty much way the same. I mean, there's like no difference at all. So for mirrorless, I think it's perfect. But then you have to stop and think about it as well. This is a pretty big bag, right? If it's it, it swallows my DSLR of a, like huge zoom with one. Prime, one pretty big prime lens and potentially I can fit at least like one or two other. So this is a big bag. Now the mirrorless, the purpose of mirrorless is how, that's one of the main advantages is that how compact it is. So that means you do not need a bag this big. There are plenty of other bags that's a lot smaller. You have to like sling it across your shoulder diagonally. You can just get a really small bag just like a, it doesn't even have a photo bag. I have like a brown leather bag that's like hundred dollars. That looks beautiful by the way. And um, I usually just bring that out. So it's kind of hard to imagine where this bag sits um, because for larger DSLR, this strap is not quite working. It digs in, and um, the weight is not spread. I almost wish they had those pad, the you know the the shoulder pad that I hate. Um, usually, I cut out from. Back, uh, from like messenger bags, but I almost wish they have that just so that this, uh, the weight is more spread out for these style hours. Um, and for actual mirrorless, the camera is so light and so small that this bag physically just too big just for that purpose. Even if I have like um, uh, X-T1 or something that can change the lens, I don't need something this big. I can just uh, bring my, actually, let me grab it real quick. Be right back, no cuts. So this is my tried and true work messenger bag that has been with me for, what, two and a half, three years now. It's a uh, Viscondi, I've never heard of this brand, but it's about 100, about $100 on Amazon. And um, it aged really well, it has a lot of personality. And this leather bag. So, bag like this works, no nonsense. Although there's no padding as well, and let me show you. X100S. Done. Um, and sometimes I even bring this bag out for my DSLR if I am only using one lens. So, here's a D600 with the 2470. Point it straight down, put it in, and it just swallowed it. Now, again, this is only like one DSL, 
nothing else, no water bottle, no extra lens. And that's why I want to get another messenger bag that can fit the other things. But one thing that I did not think about was how heavy all those gear are and what kind of like weight is put on one shoulder by using a messenger bag, especially one that does not have a, a little bit larger pad where it allows you to spread the weight out a little bit. So that's pretty unfortunate because I really like that bag and it's a really handsome bag and it took me so long to decide to finally get it. But ultimately, in terms of uh, functionality, I don't think it fits my equipment so well. So I just want to make this quick video um, for other people with DSLR that's thinking about getting uh, the everyday messenger bag from Peak Design. Look at your gear first to determine how heavy your gear is. I think that um, 2470 is, I think just by itself, it's okay. Let me see, just by itself, water bottle. And I like to put a camera on one side, so when I sling to the back, the heavier side kind of naturally dip down. Not to mention, this is like the more natural, natural position to hold the camera. So this... Water bottle is not filled, by the way. This, I'm, I maybe able could, could do, although I think after like half an hour, I will start getting tired on the shoulder. I'm just being completely honest here. Um, with one more lens, there's absolutely no way. Um, with the water bottle fill, I don't know, maybe eh, it may not be too comfortable. But um, yeah, I think after having this experience, unless I can find a messenger bag as well padded, uh, I may just keep my backpack, right? Just keep the weight uh, spread across both shoulders and go. But if you use a DSL, oh, a prime lens or a lighter lens, I think this bag would be great. Would be great, especially because DSL is so large, right? You see my leather messenger bag. Once I put a DSL in, I can fit nothing else. This gives you plenty of room, right, to fit things. But then again, you have to keep in mind that you're running into a similar issue. If you load it up too much, it'll become too heavy. You just kind of sling it across just one shoulder. So that was my dilemma. I just struggled with the, like, past two days just be like oh do I keep this do I keep this do I keep this but ultimately I know that if I go out to travel if I want to bring one like um, professional zoom with one prime for potential portraits there's no way I'll last the whole day with just this one bag so I was like all right well it's sad but I think this may be going back so just want to share this with you before I pack this up and um, again this is a really handsome Messenger bag. I'm really looking for all kinds of excuses to keep it, but ultimately, it's just not for me, uh, not for my gear. Nothing wrong with the bag. It's just that, just not for DSL of a big zoom plus other gear. It's just too heavy for one shoulder. So, take it for what it's worth. This is my two cents. And if you're on the fence, keep keep weight in your equation as well, and take a look at your gear and what how you will potentially use this bag and then decide for yourself. They do a lot of great marketing, there are a lot of great reviews out there, um, but ultimately, it's how you end up using your bag that matters the most, right? All right, well, hope this little video is useful. I'm gonna go and bag things up. Talk to you guys later.